how can we tell if this is situs solitis or situs inversus? Because situs inversus is just a mirror image of situs solitis. Now, there is oftentimes other cardiac defects that come with that, right? So you'll have some clue that maybe something else is going on. But if you look at this and it's situs inversus, how do you know the difference? So this is where we have to learn how to determine the position of the, the fetus and then situs based on the location. And so when we look at the angle of the heart, you know, we're looking here, we can see that the apex is pointed this direction and it's the same side as the stomach and the aorta. And so everything seems to be in the right position, but is it normal? Well, if this baby's cephalic, then this would not be normal, right? This would be situs inversus. Because if you think about it, the position would be off. This would be the right side if this baby were in a cephalic position. But if the baby's in a breech position, then this is normal. So again, this is where we have to come into really checking and making sure that we understand how to determine situs based on the position of the fetus in relationship to the position of the bone.